This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Melissa Curtis with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. Many gathered at Memorial Park Saturday taking a stand against gun violence. It was just one of many marches held across the country calling for common sense gun control in the wake of multiple mass shootings. The March for Our Lives event featured several guest speakers all taking to the podium calling for gun reform. They say they want to see background checks for those looking to purchase an assault rifle, as well as the minimum age to buy one raised from 18 to 21. Those in the field of education were particularly outspoken following the shooting in Uvalde, Texas. The Nebraska Association of School Boards has decided to cut ties with the National School Boards Association. The decision comes after the national organization caused controversy over a call for a federal investigation into threats made against school board members. The vote Saturday was unanimous, according to our news partners, the Omaha World Herald. Last year, the national organization sent a letter to President Biden asking for assistance in protecting educators from threats and harassment. The letter was criticized by members who said they were not consulted. Today's decision by the Nebraska Association adds them to a group of at least 23 other state school board associations that have cut ties with the national organization. I'm 3 News Now meteorologist Joseph Meyer. We'll dodge some thunderstorms on Sunday morning and into the afternoon. We're going to see a lot of sunshine, which means those temperatures are really going to start to rise. We'll see many of us get up into the lower 90s, a high temperature of 92 degrees in Omaha. Uh, the humidity is going to go up as well, so it's just going to be a hot and a sticky day for tomorrow. We'll see some thunderstorms move in during the afternoon and evening hours from central Nebraska. They're really going to struggle, though, to make it as far east as Omaha. I think the higher chances for maybe an isolated storm will be closer to Columbus and Norfolk. Otherwise, it'll be a dry day for your Sunday and into your Monday. We see that heat just continue. Monday will be into the triple digits. Tuesday high still remaining in the upper 90s. A chance for an isolated storm on Tuesday. It'll be with a cold front that will briefly drop our temperatures on Wednesday and Thursday. By the weekend, we're back up into the 90s.